Hey guys, uh, just recording some Minecraft here. This is my first actual Minecraft video. This is my ice couch. Uh, <laughs> I built it out of ice blocks because I had a bunch of ice blocks and I had no use for them. I was going to build an igloo, but it turned into a couch. So, here we go. Anyways, I'm not here to show you an ice couch. I'm here to show you what's behind it. So, I have been working on this kind of Japanese pagoda castle thing for a while. Uh, I'm sorry if the frame rate is kind of bad. My computer's not super great. So right here we have the giant stone lions. I actually built one of these uh, near my home base, which is a while away from here. You can see he's got another wreck in his nostrils. Looks a little weird, but the flaming eyes are pretty cool. So I built one, and then I used MC Edit to uh, take it, pick it up, and drop it over here. And then I mirrored it and made a copy and placed it over. So now we have one on either side of the giant door. And then this is the big door here. I have not actually put little doors to block out monsters yet. I've got it on peaceful right now while I'm building. Um, and I've got a giant gate here, a tori. So these are the outer walls. I actually built all of this by hand. The materials, most of them were uh, generated. I had some of these when I started. I built the whole stone lion out of my cobblestone and realized that if I was going to build this whole thing with wood and wool and stone that it was going to take forever to mine all that materials, and I didn't want to spend my time in Minecraft mining when I wanted to be building, so I decided that I uh, was not going to do that. <laughs> I know it's not the best way of uh, building for some people, because they think that things are not as impressive if they haven't been legitimately earned for the materials, but uh, I think the work that went into it was enough for me. Um, I'm on the second story now. This is just the outer wall. Okay, so up here is the top part. It's a little cramped in here, but I wanted it to feel like it was an attic. So I made these little ladders, and here we are on the roof of the wall. You can see I tried to light the lines up a little bit, but I didn't want to make the snow melt, because as you can see, the roof has no snow on it due to all these lanterns. Uh, I, def I built in the snow biome because I wanted a kind of snow castle, but placing the lanterns, I tried to place them where monsters would not spawn, but we could still uh, have some snow around here. I haven't actually turned it off of Peaceful yet since I've been building, so we'll see if that actually works. But in the top of the gate is filled with lanterns. Back when I played with uh, Mo Creatures on, I had another... Uh, Tory gate in my single player and an ogre spawned on top of it, which was terrifying. Um, down here, we'll head down. I am not on creative anymore, so I probably should not just like jump down, but oh well. Ooh. I'll regenerate. Um, so most of this wall was built, I think uh, actually almost all of it, yeah, all of it was built before the 1.8 update. So I did not have creative mode, but now that I have creative mode, I've been starting to work on the pagoda that's going to be in the center. And there's a little bit of lanterns here, and it's going to have a path around here to a little lake that I built with a tree. And then this is going to be a place for wolves and maybe uh, horses and big cats and stuff for mo creatures. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Mo Creatures is a mod that adds more animals to the game, like horses you can ride and pet cats and everything. Over here is going to be where the farm is. But anyways, this is the beginning of the pagoda bathhouse type of thing. It's going to be a bathhouse on the bottom floor here, and then a uh, pagoda on the top floor. Right, I'm going to break here for a second, because I think it's probably a little too dark to show this. Okay, we're back. If I can get this to work. There we go. Um, it is morning now, and I've set the uh, mode to creative so I can fly around and show you this a little better. Uh, this is the bath. It's got the uh, Chinese or Japanese uh, 
symbol for water in there, if you can see it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's blue and it's in water, but I might change it to glowstone. That might look a little cooler. Anyways, this is the pillar in the center. Now this is going to uh, run all the way up to the top of here. I built it all the way to the top that it can possibly be built because I wanted to make sure I knew where that was, but it's not going to go up this high. Uh, but the pagoda, let me go down some more so we can actually see. Um, pagoda is going to have a large first story that I've mostly finished here, and then it's going to start having smaller stories as it goes up. And uh, the bottom story is going to be this bathhouse area. I'm going to add other stuff to it. But uh, that's it for the pagoda right now. It's going to have this giant pillar, obviously, through the center to kind of look like it's a support beam. But let me. Uh, I'm going to turn the, the uh, view distance back up here, even though it's going to make it super slow. But I'm going to fly up and just give you a nice shot of this thing. So yeah, uh, my girlfriend actually made a lot of the designs for this, and then I, I built it by hand. So it took a lot of work, but if you listen to podcasts or music when you do it, it actually is kind of fun and relaxing. So. If you haven't tried to build anything insane and huge in Minecraft, then uh, I do recommend it if you have some free time or just time you want to relax. Uh, some of this area was edited. I went into MC Edit when I found the uh, snow biome over here that I wanted, and I made it lowered a little bit because I wanted to make sure there was enough room for the pagoda to go all the way up, you know, that I wanted it to. But, anyways, uh, these stone lions aren't perfect looking. I'm sure they'll look a little strange to you, probably. But uh, you can fly in here. I put torches in its mouth so that monsters can't uh, spawn in here. So yeah. Uh, the walls didn't take all that long. I think trying to build these lions by hand without any flying or anything was what took the longest. So. Uh, I'm glad I was able to copy one step to spending forever trying to mirror it. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll probably post more updates when I'm uh, building further along. Uh, I've been inspired by uh, Ashley Scott to uh, finish my pagoda, because she started building one and was able to finish it completely within the time that I had basically stopped working on this one. So that really... Uh, inspired me to start working. I finished the walls and have started this since then. So hopefully it'll turn out good. I'm, not, I'm gonna try to look at hers to see some of the cool things. I definitely want to use her idea that she used for a bucket and rope. She used fence for rope, but uh, I definitely want to use that to try to make maybe a giant bell up there. But anyways, the rest of this world is fairly unbuilt upon. I've got my mind and everything. So this is the main attraction. Uh, let me know if you like this and you can think of any ideas what I should add to it, and uh, maybe check out my other videos. Uh, that's about it. Uh, my name's Adam, in case I didn't mention that at the beginning. And uh hope you liked it. Thanks. Have a good day, guys.